Welcome or come back on any help at Cisco. In this example, we're going to need to find the uh, polar form of this complex number, right? Well, first of all, what I like to do is to plot the point in the complex map. So that point, that uh, complex number, which I'm going to call it Z, is negative 2 plus 2 i squared of 3. That means I'm going to go from this origin to left, because you have negative 2, and 2 squared of 3 is somewhere here. Right. So this is the point negative 2 plus 2 i squared of 3. Okay. And one of the reasons is we're going to need to find this distance from the origin to the point, which I'm going to call it i. If you remember in polar coordinate, uh, that i, yeah, it's right here. And it's going to be what? Square root of negative 2 squared plus uh, 2 square root of 3 squared, which is going to be square root of 4 plus 12, which is going to be square root of 16, and that will be just 4. So that's the first step, finding this r. Now, for the second step, we're going to need to find this angle, alright, theta, I'm going to call it, and for that reason, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to find this angle first. Which I'm going to call it M. And for finding that angle M, I'm going to use tangent. But you can use sine or cosine also. And I'm looking in this triangle, and I'm going to use the absolute value, right? We have an X and a Y coordinate. I'm going to use the absolute value of those uh, X and Y. So tangent of M will be this Y over this X, right? And like I said, I'm going to use the absolute value. In other words, only positive value. 2 square root of 3 over 2. If we simplify, we get square root of 3. For finding m, I'm going to need to use the inverse of the tangent. And when is the tangent? Uh, square root of 3, that is 60 degree. So this m is 60 degree. Obviously, this theta will be 180 minus 60, 120 degree. That is how much theta is. Theta will be 180 minus 60, 120 degrees, or 2 pi over 3. And basically, now we can write the polar form or the trigonometric form of this complex number, which will be r, which is 4, open the parentheses, cosine of theta, 2 pi over 3, plus i sine theta, 2 pi over 3. And that's it. I put a summary of this problem right here. Uh, you see it, and I put a, a note here, polar form of a complex number is not unique. Yeah, you can write more polar form of the same complex number, but that's the one we're looking because look at here, the argument satisfies this condition. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.